Hello everybody, welcome to episode 4 of the Digimon Wonder series. So, first off, I'm going to get into a bit of awesome VPAT mail today. So, we got actually got the, um, the uh, was it, Digimon cases from Zen, and I only had bought one of them. I do have another one of these coming in, but uh, we do have one of the cases in today. So, it is pretty nice. I do love the look and feel of it. Uh, I will be doing a full-on review of this later, because I'm going to be testing out with, like, other... Digimon and stuff like that and see how each one of them fits and stuff like that. So Wait for that whole review to come in to play But it since it is then in they did send some cool little extra goodies and stuff like that And I just wanted to show off the box for it as well. So here's the box. It's a nice little box Has a really nice protection inside it. So overall nice stuff and shipping for it box designs pretty average, but to be honest it doesn't have to really be much. All it is is just a case for a Digimon, so it is pretty cool. And of course, with the usual Zen in order, they uh, throw in some cards and everything. I did actually pay for this device, so don't think I got this for free or anything like that. I did actually sit down and pay for it. I like I was one of the first few like pre-orders for the uh, whole thing, so like when they first announced it, I was like, I'm pre-ordering that, and I did. And like that was so quick of a thing for me. So let's look at the cards we got here real quickly. So we got the wonderful little Ogremon here, pretty cool looking card. I love the art of it; it's actually really nice. And we got Agumon version S, I think is what it's called. It's like the one that has the uh, little hand gloves to it, and that's pretty much the only difference there is to it. It's a very interesting designed Agumon. Overall, pretty cool little two cards here. I've not gotten into the Digimon card game. But pretty much every card I own comes from either Zenin or Japan you want, so. <laughs> or from friends who sent me some Digimon mail. Because in my area, it's actually really hard to get a hold of, um, was it, Digimon stuff. So we did get some cool stickers. We got a cool little Seedramon, a virus version of Metal Greymon. We got some bigger art ones, which, ooh, these are nice. A, oh, I forget the name of this one. I forget the name of these two. These came from, like, the... What was it? I think this one's called Hedgemon. And then this one was Blizzardmon, I think, or something like that. Ooh, it's been so long. Or Bluco. Oh, man. I forget the name of these two. I didn't like the, I didn't like these two when they first came out. <laughs> That's probably why I don't remember them. Nowadays, I appreciate them way more. But uh, when they first came out, I did not like the design of them at all. And, of course, got Zenon's cool little art card here, which has a bunch of anime references and other cool Digimon references and even references some Tamagotchi right there. So really cool thing. I love the I love their little art style they have there. Talks about their uh, staff here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've talked to the Zen and Stock before. They are very nice people, so and they are very helpful with answering questions and stuff like that. So I do love their store. I've actually bought from them a bunch of times, so at this point, I do recommend their store overall. I will talk about this case at a later point, though, so get into that fun there. But let's talk about the Digimon. As you see here, we have Agumon! So we got the fun little Agumon here, and that does mean we actually have Piomon on this device. I'm not going to be showing off a battle today with this, these two, because first off, I had to do the uh, battles with the... get the battles done with him anyway, so he doesn't have any DP currently. He's currently sitting at a 57% win ratio, which is not that great for him, but we can easily rise that up. We still have till the champion stage, or we have champion. We have the early parts of the champion stage to also raise it up. So we are still in a good area. Fifty is not bad. We're still we can still easily raise that up, and I'll probably be doing that tomorrow as well to try getting it to be powered up to at least seventy. On the Piomon side, or Biomon, whichever you want to call it, uh, we did actually reach that 70% goal, so we are actually doing really well on this side, and overall, both of them are doing stupendously well. I did change the clock on this one again, because he goes to bed super early, but uh, overall, these two are doing really well, and they're doing really nice. Like, overall, just been really good time with these two. Kind of sad about this one losing a bunch of battles because it was pretty much a hard time with actually fighting with uh, this one today. So hopefully it gets to be a bit more of a better experience with the uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna try again. If not, I'm gonna probably sit around with the Greymon uh, part of him or Greymon or Tyrannomon when he evolves and just mess around with him at that point because it's way easier to win in champion mo mode against the Wonder Swan than it is against the rookies. 
So, same with this one over here. Pretty much, we're just going to do a bit more battles, because we need to do battles in the rookie stage and do battles in the champion stage. So, we're going to have to get those battles up, and we will easily be able to do that later on. So, woohoo! Now let's get on to the Wonder Swan of things. So, as you know, as I've talked about before multiple times, the Wonder Swan can copy um, Digimon from the uh, devices or whatever. And we did actually get some copies in today. So, while I was doing the battles, that does mean these last two right here are full-on copies. So, this one right here is a copy of Agumon, which not going to be that interesting because we've already seen Agumon a bunch of times. But there you go, copy of Agumon. Not too interesting there. The more interesting one of the bunch is this one, which is super exciting in my opinion. We copied Piomon! So look at that art. Aw, oh, that's awesome. We also don't have to pay for an egg, which is really nice, because as you know, the, you do actually usually have to pay for eggs on these devices, so ugh. Not a grand old time for me. Oh, now why am I freezing them? We're gonna unfreeze them. And we're gonna actually go through the battle system today, so... So you remember from the last few days, we did try doing that earlier. Uh, we're gonna wake up this guy right here, because why not? So we're gonna wake up those two. And we're gonna try going through the data round again. So we got our Agumon right here. We're gonna show you another one, and... Ooh, can we actually put another one in a uh, battle with us? I might actually try that. Okay, so we're gonna wake up a... We'll wake up this guy. Uh, uh, how do I want to do this, actually? Wake up, you! And... Spam him pills, okay. So, does that give him a bit of power? Yes, it does! Good for me, because... I didn't think all the other ones don't have much... That one does, but I kind of want to keep that one as a like a little batting around, buddy, because I need to keep some for the terms of abuse, so... For right now, we'll try doing a whole Agumon team. And we did get some items from uh, battling the, uh, uh, the bricks or whatever, so we do actually have two items. I do not know what they are used for currently, so I'm not going to use them currently. Go for no use, and that's fine. Because as you see here, there we go. Three rookies against two. So we're going to have a lot of fun. I want to see if I can at least get through some of the tournament today. I'm hoping I can. If not, I might have to use my tag team duo of two champions to just go through this whole entire mode. Which is very easy to do on this device. So there you go, they're going to try using their special attack on us. But of course, we're going to have a better special attack, because we're all three rookies, so... Wham! And of course, we also have another move, so there we go. Our first victory of the whole battle system right there. And we already have one damage, so that's not good for us. We also got some money out of that, so yay there for us. So I want to go into the lab, cure him up, exit this whole little thing, go back into the whole thing here, and there we go. Let's get two back to doing this again. No use! And look at that, they're already trying to use a champion against us, so you already know the uh, stakes are getting really high on us. So it's one of those like fun little combos there, like, ooh. Like I say, I think my best combo is usually just taking two champions and just going along with that. For, uh, what was it? For my earlier runs, I did, like, what was it? Um, uh, ooh, we actually lost that round. Ooh, that's not good for us. Ugh, it's a pain in my butt. This one is also doesn't have DP on him currently, so it's gonna be a bigger pain for us. 
Does it allow us to use him again? I don't know if it will or not. It will not. But we can go through this with some rookies. Uh, we should be able to, at least. Yep, this should be a bit more of a easier battle for us. You watch this go on. It is always interesting to watch these battles like move on and progress over time. So you see, it is a bit annoying that they do. The enemies usually kind of get the power move first. I've noticed that. I don't know why that always works like that in a way. Don't know if there's a way to like make that happen better or quicker. Probably is. There's a bunch of items you can use in this device. And we're not gonna do well on this. Yeah, we're not going to do well. Yep, we're going to lose. Ugh, that was great. Thanks, Digimon. Yeah, that's great for us. These battle modes are not the easiest to go through. That is for dang sure. So, at this part, probably probably need to just... Nope, nope. Ugh, come on. Let me exit. Come on, do time jumps, because apparently they're going to fight me on this whole dumb concept here, and I don't know why. So let's sit there and feed them up. Where are the others? They need stuff. Nope, they're doing decently fine. So let's do this all again. Feed them things. Main thing they're currently needing is um, they need to sit down and have the, uh, what is it? They need to go to bed. That's the main thing they need to do. So that we have all three of them in battle currently. I should have probably rested them up before I actually did the whole one thing with them. Come on, you pain in my butt, Digimon. Come on! Time jump. Five hours, come on. Uh, come on, why do they always need stuff? Come on! And yes, I know I'm doing this the most improper way, but to be honest, sitting there and training them a bunch of times over and over again is a bit of a pain, so. Get this all done. No use! Okay. Oh, but the 3v3 match. That's great for us. Two Gabumons and a Poonimon, and we got two Agumons and a Peomon, so we should be doing pretty well. So, overall, we do have our one guy going to bed pretty early, so I'll uh, turn him off. The other one needs his clock adjusted for him to go to bed, but there we go. There's our power shot. Bam! We got to do it early, too, so that's really awesome to have that. Theirs not going to do as much damage as ours did. Actually, I say that, and they just theirs did a pretty decent chunk. And there we go, we won! Very slightly. We barely won that whole match. We got 20 bucks out of it, though, so that's good for us. There's one of them out. Go to the status screen. And there we go, got another one. We gotta heal him up. Blop, how's they all doing? Come on. They all need to go to bed, finally. Except Piyomon, apparently. Like the actual Agumons, they both go to bed super early. So that's kind of a pain.
Whoop, turn them all off. Exit. Time jump for one more hour. And there we go. Pokemon's finally got a bit. Look at that weird duck animation sleeping. It's so weird. <laughs> That's like never how I imagined Pokemon going to sleep, and seeing that now is like one of the most disturbing things to me. It's like, ew, I don't know if I like that. And there we go, they should all be awake now. And now we could go into the whole battle system here. And now start whipping everyone's butt in it. Let's go crazy! I wish you have like I wish you could skip these battles. These battles are super slow. But it does not let you do that. It actually makes you sit there, watch them all through. It's a bit of a pain in my personal opinion. But there we go, gotta start getting through them. I love how those children like manage to do so much damage so very quickly. That's the reason why I don't think my setup's gonna work too great between them, because each one of them's gonna start doing this weird tell attack thing. Oh, we actually managed to win with my current setup. Ooh. The three rookie setup is actually doing me I say that and then one of them gets immediately damaged. So that's a huge pain in the butt to me. Because I'm going to have to get back out of this and then go immediately over to healing them up like as quickly as possible. Because there we go. I at least want to try winning one of the medals today. Don't know if I can or not. But uh, let's see if we can at least win one of the medals here. We do another no use. Going to do this. Ooh, that's not good for us. It is not too bad of a battle setup. We it's just two babies against with two rookies, but still not the greatest setup for us. So there we go. They're gonna start going through this slowly. Trying to see how this is gonna work out for us. Like ooh, not the greatest of battle setups for us. And they're already gonna do their power move on us, so that's not good for us. Yeah, there we go. There's our power move. And let's see. Do we have a better chance of winning? Nope, we don't. I don't think we have a good chance there. Yeah, I might wait till we get to two champions at least with this one. I did, I'm glad that we finally got to do some wins though for our thing. So I'm going to exit out of this. I don't think I'm going to call it a day for this little episode here. Because I don't think we have the enough power overall to do the uh, proper wins and stuff like that. Because I've, I've gone through this whole minigame thing a bunch of times. And overall, I think my personal experience with it is you kind of just want to wait till you're champion to start doing a lot of battles. But doing this does at least grant us the ability to maybe have a chance to having like the higher evolution stages in this device. Which is kind of actually hard to do in this one. It is much more harder to get the higher evo stages than the older devices, or than the actual V-Pets, weirdly enough. Because I've had better chances at getting the uh, whole, was it getting to ultimate stages on these ones versus the... Wonder Swan game where you can kind of skip over a lot of it. It is very interestingly done like that. But that is pretty much all for today's episode here. So thank you all for watching. And if you all have any comments or questions, please ask them down below and I will answer to the best of my ability. If you enjoyed this video, then hopefully you like it enough to give it a thumbs up. That does help apparently the channel. Don't know how that does, but it's weird YouTube stuff, I'm guessing. So that's pretty much it for now. So we will see you next time in the next episode. So blah, blah, blah. And we will be doing a Zen in case review pretty soonish. So if you are wanting a good in-depth review, uh, just wait a little bit. I'll be like posting mine on like probably Friday. I'm, uh, I'm testing it out currently, so that's like the main thing, as I'm needing just to mess around and see how overall it is, so...
But overall, uh, was I spent a good day with it today, so we're going to spend tomorrow with it, get a bit more of an in-depth look into it. And after that, we'll do the review. So that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching, and see you later. Bye. Ooh.